In 2021, beloved pet site Neopets made headlines when they announced that they would be delving into the world of NFTs and crypto with a project called the Neopets Metaverse. In that very same 2021, I made a video about what an embarrassing disaster the whole project had been up until that point, and I summarized that video with the following statement. Personally, I think that the NFTs will sell out mainly to bots, but to a few actual buyers, and then the project will fizzle out. Well, I want to thank my guy Apollo for the gift of prophecy, because almost two years years to the day, that's exactly what's happened. Yes, the Neopets metaverse has officially crashed and burned, to the surprise of no one. And not only that, but Neopets itself is undergoing some huge changes, including going independent for the first time since 2005. So come with me today as we recap Neopets messy histories with NFTs, how the Neopets metaverse fell apart, and the uncertain future of the website. Before we jump into things, I just want to give a huge thank you to Love and Pies for sponsoring this video. Love and Pies is a free to download mobile game for your phone or tablet with a riveting story filled with mystery, romance, and pies, of course. After your mum disappears, it's up to you to take over her mysteriously burned down cafe and build a thriving business. While investigating her disappearance, you'll transform the cafe from a pile of rubble, repairing and rebuilding it with tons of customization options. From rustic and cozy to hip and modern, there are many ways to customize your cafe, and you guys know I'm a big fan of customization, so this was right up my alley. The Merge 2 gameplay is super fun and relaxing, so for those moments where you just need to unwind and chill out, Love and Pies is perfect. Plus, the storyline is super fun, with a colourful cast of unique and diverse characters, a ton of small town gossip and juicy drama, and a genuinely engaging mystery. I've been having a ton of fun playing Love and Pies, the art style and animations are gorgeous, I really really like them, it's super satisfying seeing your cafe come together, and the characters are just really great and fun to follow as the story progresses. If you're like me and love decorating your own little cafe, download Love and Pies on iOS and Android, the link will be in the description below. A huge thank you to Love and Pies for sponsoring the video, and now let's get back into things. The whole Neopets NFT debacle started in September of 2021 when a seemingly official Neopets affiliated Twitter account at Neopets Meta made an announcement. Side note, yes I know it's called X now, <laughs> no I'm not gonna call it that, this is my hashtag stand. <laughs> the announcement read in part, quote, Neopets is excited to announce a partnership with Radium, an automated market maker, AMM, and launchpad powered by Solana to bring a collection of NFTs based on characters from the 20 years of Neopian history and lore. Collectors and fans will have the opportunity to acquire one of 20,500 equally unique algorithmically generated lovable Neopets NFTs. It was also announced that the Neopets metaverse project had plans to eventually create a full-fledged 3D game world for Neopets to play with their Neopets in, all powered by cryptocurrency. Hilariously, the official Neopets account mistakenly called out this project as a scam. Clearly, whoever was running this account wasn't even aware that the project was an actual official thing, showing just how seamless communication was behind the scenes. And this unprofessionalism and honestly pretty terrible communication would become a very common thread throughout this whole project, as you'll come to see. The Neopets metaverse was the brainchild of a man called Dominic Law, a Harvard business graduate who had been employed at NetDragon Websoft, the company that owned Neopets as of 2017. He was the director of New Markets, and seeing the huge hype around crypto and NFTs, he was quick to push the idea of a Neopets crypto project to the higher-ups at the company. So, with their approval, Mr. Law set about his lofty goal of making a fully 3D blockchain remake of Neopets with NFT and crypto integration. Naturally, the Neopets community rioted. We talked extensively about this in my video on the history of Neopets scandals and the video about the NFT themselves. Yes, this is my third Neopets video, if there's a dead horse I'll be there with boxing gloves on. But this announcement came off the back of years of poor management and shoddy site upkeep. Players had been asking for a super long time for Jumpstart, the company who at the time owned and ran Neopets, to fix the many bugs and issues that plagued the site, which was extremely dated and basically cobbled together and held with duct tape. It had been around since 1999 after all, and carried with it a ton of, uh, let's just generously say quirks, from that older era of the internet. Quirks that made it dated, annoying to navigate, and near unusable at some points. Jumpstart had done very little in the way of site upkeep, however, instead choosing to focus on the many ways that they could monetize the site, which now appeared to include NFTs. I'm sure by this point you've heard the whole NFT bad spiel about a thousand times. I mean, it's 2023, it's pretty much a dead topic by now. They say making an entire video revolving around them. But the general gist is that NFTs are harmful to the environment, since they have to be minted on a blockchain, which requires a huge amount of 
of power. The NFT space is highly unregulated and absolutely rife with scams and they're also just ugly as sin. It's actually criminal that Board Ape Yacht Club got so big because what in God's name is this? Jimmy Fallon, you will pay for your crimes. Anyway, my point is Neopians weren't just upset because the site wasn't getting the attention and upkeep it so desperately needed, but also because many of them saw NFTs as just plain immoral for a number of reasons. Additionally, most users at this point were longtime veterans who had put up with a lot of bullshit over the years from Scientology rumors to data breaches and information leaks to the infamous ongoing war over unconverted pets which we don't even have time to get into, it's a whole can of worms the whole can of koi. Just a little Neopets humour for you guys. Basically the user base was small and though they were dedicated the Neopets team hadn't exactly drummed up a ton of goodwill through their decisions so they were on kind of thin ice. And if you're wondering if the quality and sheer artistry of the NFTs outweigh these ethical concerns, well judge for yourself I guess. They're basically just PNGs of Neopets with randomised skins and expressions and accessories the sum of which is always some garish and vaguely horrifying neo abomination. Nation. While in the original announcement it was claimed that 20,500 NFTs would be dropping, once it was made clear just how few people were truly interested, that number was cut in half to just 10,500. But before we get into the actual drop itself and how many sold, spoiler alert, not many, let's cover the many varied ways that the Neopets Metaverse project went off the rails. Immediately upon the announcement of the project, Jelly Neo, a fan-run Neopets news site and the most popular place for players to get updates, started the known Neo NFTs hashtag which took off in the now outraged community. Neopians began protesting in-game using the weekly beauty contest to submit anti-NFT art and slogans which other players would vote for en masse, pushing them to the top of the rankings. In one instance, a known Neo NFTs piece which placed first was deleted by the staff team in what the community considered to be a pretty egregious act of censorship. The winner was later reinstated after the community called TNT out, but it was far from the last time that the staff would censor and speak down on the players for holding anti-NFT views. Into the official Neopets Metaverse Discord group because of course that was a thing. I'm sorry unpopular opinion but I just feel like any project where the communication happens mostly through Discord has like a 90% chance of being a disaster and this project was definitely no different. Not only was the group filled with dude bro NFT investors who frequently used profanities and straight up slurs but the admins of the group refused to censor said slurs when asked. Which is obviously a pretty bad look in the official Discord server for a children's game. There was also an instance where a moderator doxed a minor who was spamming in the chat, and another instance where they accidentally made a private channel public, revealing a discussion where they hoped that the Neopets team would release some new updates to distract players and quote, change the tone of the boards. <laughs> then there was the dodginess surrounding who exactly was behind the Neopets metaverse, two companies called Moonvolt and Cherry Picks. Moonvolt appeared to be a shell corporation set up about a month before the Neopets metaverse project dropped, and Cherry Picks was owned by NetDragon who also own Neopets itself. The Cherry Picks website was page after page of nonsensical business tech babble interspersed with stock photos and bizarre articles praising their own CEOs. Accusations of money laundering were tossed about and while I don't particularly think there's enough evidence to confirm that since, you know, these are pretty big accusations, I wouldn't exactly dismiss it either since these are NFTs we're talking about, you know, it could be true in Minecraft, etc. All of this subterfuge and shadiness should be of no surprise to anyone who knows anything about the world of NFTs and crypto, these projects just always end up being like three scams in a trench coat. Believe it or not, we're only scratching the surface here, there was plenty more from using their public social media to shout out the NFT project Horny Hedgehogs, to stealing art and images from fan sites, to the fact that they had actually already launched a crypto project several years prior, CryptoQuest, which was also a disaster. But we've already spent a hot minute talking about how scammy and controversial the Neopets metaverse was before it even launched, so let's get into what happened once the fateful NFT NFTs finally dropped. On the 12th of November of 2021, the Neopets Metaverse dropped its first and last NFT collection, and to the surprise of no one, it tanked hard. The drop offered 10,000 unique collection boxes containing Neopets Solana NFTs and from crypto news site Blockworks, quote, the initial tranche of 1,250 boxes was retailed at a set price of one soul, $240 at the time, $26.40 today, though the overall average price ended up being roughly double that. Side note, but this article has the most disgusting AI art as its cover piece and I think they're meant to look like Neopets, but dear god. 
the Jub Jubs have been inbreeding. Jelly Neo followed the NFT drop closely and published an article with all the stats and numbers once the drop had come to a close. At the time of closing, 4,233 of the 10,000 NFTs had been sold at an average price of around $400, give or take, with the rest to be burned. That means the Neopets metaverse ended up selling less than a quarter of the 20,000 that they originally intended to sell, so, you know, L plus ratio plus your Neopet is starving. <laughs> Despite this sounding pretty dismal, that still resulted in an estimated $2 million in earnings for the Neopets metaverse project. Additionally, the company managed to secure over $4 million in funding from various investors and venture capital firms who wanted to support the metaverse project. So unfortunately for the many fans who hated the Neopets metaverse with a burning passion and wanted it to die a fiery, fiery death, things were actually looking pretty promising for the project. In May of 2023, a teaser trailer was released showing demo gameplay footage from the Neopets Metaverse game, and it looked, at least visually, pretty good. Though there was some confusion over whether it was even a real Metaverse project since all the characters had legs. The gameplay looked... And it was clearly pretty heavily inspired by other better games like Animal Crossing with the small town feel and cutesy customization as well as Pokemon with the combat mechanics. There was also a lot of crypto cringe that kind of brought down the vibe like one of the selling points being master the art of staking and yielding. <laughs> Neopets Meta had already been running limited trial runs to select NFT holders and avid Neopets players for a few months before this trailer launched, and unbeknownst to the public, because the comments were turned off after they were quickly filled up with negative and disparaging remarks, the reception from actual players was pretty poor. There's nothing I've seen in the three alpha builds so far that indicate the final game will be a compelling time sink. One early access player wrote, adding that it feels like an unrelated game that has paid to insert the Neopets IP. Over on the Neopets subreddit, feedback from the wider community was similarly discouraging. If it was 2005 and I saw this trailer alongside a Wizard 101 trailer, I'd be excited, but it looks pretty bad? Like, it clearly has a lot of resources behind it, so it looks better than most things coming out of Neopets these days, but there's just not much there. The idea of a lot of these things, explore, design, battle, are all appealing in a surface level way, but when I think about how they all connect together and what the gameplay loop actually is, it just seems like a generic monster trainer game. Swap out the assets and it's just a game about battling pets and getting customization items. Without a play to earn hook, I don't think anyone would be that excited about it. It's disgusting to see a children's brand put out what looks like a child-friendly game up until it gets to the part where it talks about gambling on the market that you have to invest real money into as a core feature. The first thing I look for in a game trailer is gameplay and what little we see is bare bones, even the mini game in combat isn't showing actual gameplay, just animations. It's like trying to be a Pokemon clone but also customizable houses and Neopets but also transactions, I guess? Basically, it feels like a mobile game and not in a good cohesive way. But Neopians wouldn't need to worry for much longer because in a shocking twist, just a few months after this trailer dropped, it was announced that the Neopets metaverse would be completely cancelled, the game would be scrapped, and Neopets itself would be going in a completely new direction. While I can't say that this news came completely out of the blue, I mean since the project's launch, NFTs have plummeted in value and basically lost all relevance, but still, considering how long this facade had been going on for and seemingly how much progress the team had made in crafting the metaverse game, the sudden announcement announcement came as a bit of a shock. The news was broken in a Twitter post by the Neopets Metaverse team, reading in part, quote, TNT has taken a close look at every nook and cranny of Neopets, and after doing so, the decision has been made to transition away from the Neopets Metaverse game and redistribute those resources to the development of a game that we feel can better reflect our values and vision. For those of you who have supported the Neopets Metaverse project, we appreciate your loyalty and dedication. We will continue to support the community that has embraced ownership of these collections. The Neopets Metaverse Discord will continue to exist as a place for digital collectible holders to connect with each other. With the evil finally vanquished, the community celebrated and rejoiced, but the NFT buyers who had been burned had a far less positive outlook on the whole situation. Nice way to say you rugged us, lol. That's the nicest way to say you got scammed. We took your money, but we also think your space is scummy and illegitimate. Enjoy your rug. So lovely. Such values. I don't know if I'm looking too much into this, but is this dude, like, making a doge reference in the year 2023? <laughs> I can't tell, but if he is, I mean, 
This is extremely disappointing. Terrible to see opportunities wasted and abandoned, but this one hurts. Neopets is an easy W and the ball was fumbled. Had funding, had community, had an entire digital infrastructure already blueprinted, never abandon your community. Rule number one. Thank you, Bubba Crypto. Very cool. But the dissolution of the mess formerly known as the Neopets metaverse was just the tip of the iceberg. Jumpstart, the company which managed Neopets, announced that it will be shutting its doors on June 30th and taking down all of its associated games games. Naturally, rumours began flying that Neopets itself would be shutting down, but these were quickly quashed by the Neopets team in an article titled A New Era for Neopets, which confirmed that Neopets wouldn't be shutting down and elaborated on the whole situation. For most of the last decade, the Neopets team has been under the management of Jumpstart Games, which over time has struggled to find success for Neopets. Beset by ageing site features, a waning user base, and a lack of resources, TNT had to work tirelessly just to barely keep the site afloat. The resources available to to us simply weren't substantial enough to sustain the level of growth and development that the site needed to keep up with the times, resulting in bugs, unconverted pages, broken games, and a lack of new content. Despite these challenges, TNT pushed onwards, guided by an unwavering belief that this iconic brand that has meant so much to so many truly deserved better enter the new leadership team headed by Dominic Law. Yes, for those keen observers slash listeners out there, that is the same Dominic Law that we covered earlier, the man who basically created the Neopets metaverse. It seems that he's been promoted to the head of the company and is now leading Neopets' bold new direction, which has included scrapping his own terrible NFT project, likely because of the overwhelmingly negative reaction from the community. If the article is indeed right about Jumpstart operating at a loss for decades, things aren't looking great for the Neopets brand, and Law likely figured that the only way to salvage the site was to pander to the small but dedicated community that they had shunned. And in my opinion, he's 100% right. Neopets is an iconic brand and it has a lot of nostalgic value. People flock back to the site all the time to check on their old dying pets from when they were 13, but this fleeting nostalgia isn't enough to carry the site. The user base is a fraction of what it was back in the heyday of the site, but those who have stuck around truly love Neopets and are incredibly dedicated to the site and seeing it succeed. Launching a cheap and scammy NFT project was the worst thing TNT could have done since it turned away many of these devoted longtime fans. And now with this backtracking and revamping of the site, it seems that they're trying to win them back. Whether it works or not is another story entirely. This article also confirmed that Neopets was going independent for the first time since 2005 under the new name World of Neopia Inc., no longer managed by Jumpstart or owned by NetDragon. The article continues, quote, We are thrilled to be working together as one unified team guided by principles of transparent communication and community-centric product development. We want to create games that the Neopets community will love and that means listening closely to what users have to say. In fact, we already are. We want to bring Neopets back to its glory days as much as all of you and we're committed to making it happen. And you know what? Part of me is super excited for the player base of Neopets, those who have stuck around through all of the NFT bullshittery that is. This is by far the most strong and actionable stance on improving the site that TNT has ever taken, having spent so many years dodging questions, dancing around issues, issues and pushing out scammy products and side projects for quick cash. Which as a side note makes a lot more sense in retrospect now that we know how long they'd been operating at a loss for. This is a clear, concise statement that states TNT's intentions to fix and improve the site as well as listen to players' voices and improve their playing experience. There are plans already in place and a roadmap available for players to view what the team are working on. This is all great stuff, this is really good management which is kind of new for Neopets, historically things haven't been great. But on the other hand, there was one thing in the article that caught my eye and actually made me pretty sad. In the FAQ section, among questions like, is Neopets shutting down and what will happen to the Neopets Metaverse Discord, one question reads, why should we believe things are going to get better now? And honestly, the fact that this question even needs to be added should tell you everything you need to know about how much of a gauntlet the Neopets community has been through over the years. Countless issues, countless promises that things will get better, and countless years spent waiting for that to happen. I'd like to believe that things will be different this time, I really would. And I want to believe that Dominic Law can undo all of the damage he's done to the Neopets brand with the Neopets metaverse by making the site the best it can be for the people who love it. But the truth of the matter is, currently, right now, Neopians don't really have a reason to believe that things will get better. Only time will tell if they do, and for the sake of those who love the site, who have a ton of nostalgia attached to it, who spent their childhoods playing it, and who have supported the site through thick and thin throughout all of these years, I really hope that they do. Wait, hold on, what's this? John Legend has been announced as the new Neopets brand ambassador? Hey everybody, I'm excited to announce that I'm the new brand ambassador for Neopets. 
You know the game. It's a classic pet game, and it's long been a favorite in our house. And I can't wait to share the joy and nostalgia with all of you. So stay tuned. We'll have some amazing adventures together. Game of the year. Game of the year. Everybody pack it in. We're looking at the future of gaming right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I really hope that you enjoyed that video. Um, I have another video coming this month, which was originally going to be this video, but then the whole Neopets thing happened and I really wanted to cover it because it's kind of crazy. I've followed the Neopets NFT situation like from its genesis and it's been very interesting to see how it started in the initial backlash, how it's developed, how it kind of like the game came out, the trailer came out, which is crazy. I honestly didn't really think they would ever show anything concrete, but then it was all scrapped and everything died and now it's no longer a thing. So yay but anyway that's been super interesting and yeah so basically this whole ramble has been to explain why i chose this video topic and why i find it interesting and i really hope that you also found it interesting um if you have any suggestions for future video topics or things that you want me to cover definitely let me know again if you didn't see my last video um i haven't been uploading as much recently just because of general life stuff um which has been new for me i've been uploading pretty consistently for like quite a long time so taking a break has been very weird um, um, but I'm hoping to get more into um, uploading consistently and having a bit better of a schedule. So yeah, um, I'm very, very sorry for taking such a long break. And yeah, I'm very excited to continue putting out videos. So thanks for supporting me. <laughs> like I said, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave any feedback, suggestions, uh, comments, like uh, what do you think of the whole NFT situation? Did you play the metaverse? I would be so curious to hear from anyone who actually played the game uh, because apparently there were people who were actually playtesting it and I'm very very curious about that so please drop a comment um, and leave your thoughts and uh, that's going to do it for this uh, elongated insane ramble. Thank you for listening and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye! A huge thank you to my Garfield overlords over on Patreon. Thy Heavenly, Brian Downey, Hazy, Oliver Brains, Blue Mayfeld, Katrina Likes 5e Stuff, Fitzy, Michelle Olsen, Strawberries, Matt LRJ, A Riddle Wrapped in Enigma Hidden by a Question Mark, Chicory, SHSL Sunson, Doug, Dana Homegardner, Charlie B, Simon, Ren Pendragon, Xavier Araujo, Helm Hamburger Hand, Dozo Blint, Sheriff Whiskey, The Phoebe Librarian, Astrian Vortex, Jesse Chisholm, Lee XX, and Joe Bradshaw. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, it means the world to me. If you want to join these guys over on Patreon, the link will be in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!